I knew you guys just needed to understand each other. I'll help you. It's going to be okay. Uh, I... I, I'm sorry. I, I can't. What am I doing? Adam, I'm so sorry. I got caught up in the moment and completely ruined everything. Please forgive me. Evie, no. There's, there's nothing to forgive. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. What's going on? Oh, pull yourself together. Oh. Oh. Hey, big brother. I was just coming to borrow some soap. Always borrowing something. I'm sure you're only telling me this time because I caught you. <laughs> you know me so well. Mm. <laughs> so, today was eventful. Look at you, protected by head prefect and DHP. You're lucky. What can I say? Mm. I stand out wherever I go. You mean you invite trouble wherever you go? How do you already have enemies? Why did you join LHS? They're just jealous. Of what? My beauty! <laughs> <laughs> Mood as much. I hope you've ended your friendship with Iris. She saw that I was clearly the victim today. Iris told me everything. Sure, she could have handled things differently, but that was her best way of protecting you. Fighting is instant suspension. I prefer suspension to her protection. You know everything is your fault, right? Goodness, how? Naturally, I'm the popular girl. But now that everyone knows I'm the precious in your Romeo sister, that's... that's double the fee. Almost too much for anyone to handle. And I just hate it when people look down on others just because they have less. Did I choose to be born poor? What does that inner girl have without her parents' money? Or is it her boyfriend's money? At least I've got a scholarship. Well, I'm not saying I'm the best example when it comes to ignoring those jerks. But I'm begging you to try. Don't let someone else's words make you lose your place in LHS. Gloria, I'm begging you. Stay out of trouble. Lay Lu, is it too much to ask? Yes. Yes, it is. 
I'm going to bed. Good night, Mbati Dem. Shut up! The first general mock exam. LHS like to get a head start in preparing its senior students for the upcoming federal exams. The Great Wayek and Neko exam. We would take one mock exam every two weeks to prepare us well, and a well-prepared senior class meant a high ranking for the school in the Wayek results listing. For some, this exam would be the beginning of dashed hopes and dreams, a gateway to a bleak future, for some, it would be a wake-up call, a chance for them to finally pay proper attention to their studies. And for others, it would be an affirmation of their paths, an encouragement for the future they wanted. Whatever the exam meant to each student, we could all agree it was one we couldn't wait to finally be over. Especially me. My condition had not improved. I was sure that this time, like before, I would do badly. The only difference was that this time, everybody would know. This exam is no joke. Four hours. For what now? At this rate, they should just leave us alone for the day. No class, no nothing. For we here, someone is probably on their way to stress us. Ah, my brain is hot. Nobody should teach anything again. It's okay. We've tried now. Nine subjects in four hours. It's just for us to die. Even a whole head prefect is looking finished. Ah, Adam. Isn't this why we voted for you? Go and tell whoever is coming not to come now. It's still a school day, guys. They won't let us just waste the time. Adam. What's up? Everyone needs a break. I thought we should spend the rest of the day outside. Did you get permission? Yeah. Are you guys done? Are you guys done for a game of football? Yes. What would the girls do? Let's all go. We'll be their cheerleaders. Esther, you play football. Amma, anything that'll take me out of this place. All right then. Wait, let's. Adam, let's talk outside. <laughs> What's up? Right, so, Principal likes you, right? You didn't get permission, did you? Coach said he would let us play if you have that backing. You want to what? <clears throat> we want to play football to relieve our stress. You're telling me that this one mock exam has you distressed out? It's already two hours to close in and we haven't had PE this week. Head prefect. Hmm? Do you agree? <laughs> Are you also stressed out? The entire SS3 class is. Morale is low. This is not why you guys are prefects. We are supposed to be the bridge, right? We're just conveying the student's wishes to you, man. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if I can get the coach to supervise, I would ask the other teachers to stand down. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Since 
You didn't even look up when David almost scored. That was his biggest fan. I'll congratulate him on his scores. What are you reading? This trendy new novel on Web Inc. Darkest Secrets. Darkest Secrets? I saw it last night. Didn't finish until 4 a.m. Sorry. Did you say Darkest Secrets? Yes. Do you know it? No. It's like it's just to spoil it for me, so I have to catch up. You better catch up, Will. A new chapter drops every Sunday. Who's the writer? Somebody good. Hey, Augustine. He's new on Web Inc. Don't know if it's a guy or a girl. No profile picture. He's a guy. He's specified. A stunning, handsome guy. And how do you know? You have to be good looking to write like that. Trust her. She's an expert in these things. Even his name is good looking. You are all dreaming. What's so special about A. Augustine? Sounds like a name of a plumber with lots of boils on his face. If he had boils on his face, how will you open his eyes to write? You're just jealous. <laughs> jealous? Of what? A faceless writer? Of the fact that that faceless writer is more relevant than you. Or were you just trying to get to know me? I was. See, I find you attractive as well. But I kind of like someone. I was interested because I thought you were cool. Come on, boys. Three minutes left on the clock. If you like the guy, shouldn't you be nice to him? What's all this shakara for? I thought you weren't talking to me. Only if you're still Adam's puppet. I have never been his puppet. You're being overly sensitive for nothing. Well, maybe I'm tired of always having your back. And when it's my turn, you do whatever selfish thing you want. That's not true. And you know it. If you're upset I am a prefect and you're not, then just say it. At least I'll be able to sympathize with you instead of you acting like it was all my fault you weren't nominated in the first place. What all those guys have been hiding under their shirt? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Romeo shirtless before. David has like the best body. I thought Robert would be super skinny, but he's so muscular. And for what? Okay, Robert with the body. I wish Adam played too. He's always so proper, but I am sure he's ripped and lean and ugly. <laughs> I'm sure that we can all admire his fine, tall physique from here. <laughs> oh my god! Adam! Take your shirt off! Show us your six pack! Come on, take it off! Why are you hiding? <laughs> What is wrong with those pongs? Why wouldn't he just take his shirt off? Hey, Ferris. Can't you see you're making people uncomfortable? What? He doesn't want to take his shirt off. Why are you still pushing? Did he come here? Oh, he's not. Why don't you mind the business? Henry. You're just jealous for not looking at you, Mr. Short, Dark, and Pudgy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. 
Is it just me or has Adam been acting distant lately? I don't know. I'm tired of keeping up with him. How are you and Archie? Have you finally found out what was bothering him? I don't want to talk about it. it makes my stomach twist. Sorry. Okay. You know how I met Archie's sister after Abuja? Yeah. Apparently, she doesn't like me. What? How do you know? I overheard her on the call with Archie. She asked him if he was still talking to the fatty. Yikes. Yikes is right. She's just mean and ignorant. Mm -hmm. What did Archie say? Don't tell me she told him to stop talking to you and he listened. It was me. I told him it wouldn't work out. What? I'm upset he didn't tell me and I want his sister to like me. But what can I do? <laughs> wow. wow, that was so much fun. I haven't gone to the movies in a long time. I told you to enjoy it. I'm glad you insisted. When I'm free, I'll bring my daughter. The last time you said she was running a student election. Mm. She didn't win, but she's, she's okay. She's looking forward to the next thing. What would you know of the uh, Think On Your Feet competition? It's a quiz show, yearly hosted by my bank or bank. Oliver's always wanted to go, but something else always comes up. Oh well, they just extended registration by a week. You can still register high if you are still interested. Yes, yes, we are. We are. Could sign up for it and surprise her with it. She definitely has the brains for it. You're right. I'm signing her up right away. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Ma. Bye. What did she say? When is he coming? He's not. The fall was really bad and he's in the hospital. What? Let's go and see him. Come back. We can't. He's heavily sedated and no visitors are allowed. The good news is he'll be discharged in a couple of weeks. Oh, great. The bad news is he fractured his wrist and if he ever wants to play bass again, it will need up to four months to fully recover. So what do we do now? What do you mean? We will help and support as best as we can. No one is ever prepared for this sort of thing. No, I mean we'll support him. What about our show this weekend? Or did you forget we are Angel's guest artist? Shoot! That's a problem. That is a problem. A huge problem. We are David and a king. One king. Relax, you'll find a standing. Finding a good basis is not a problem. But do you know how hard it is to find someone with the right vibes within a week? I'm not too thrilled about working with strangers either. But we have to do what we have to do. The show must go on. Exactly. The show must go on. Why are you so happy? 
Shouldn't I be happy again in my own house? Did something good happen? Something good happens every single day. Every day is a miracle, my dear. Mm hmm. How was the mock exam? We didn't get to discuss it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I aced it. Nothing much to discuss there. You know, sometimes I wonder if your life is too perfect. Why would you think that? You are good mannered, super smart, you have good friends, you almost have no worries. How can you say that? I have plenty worries. Even the ones you come crying to me about, they are well within your capability to handle, just like having a mom to complain to. Who doesn't? I don't like having to solve any of my problems. I wish you could solve them all for me. I'll gladly solve them all for you, my daughter, if you bring them. I wish you could read my mind, and I wish I could bring all my problems to you like I used to. But I'm too ashamed. All right, I have to tell you. What? I have a surprise for you. What? What is it? I signed you up for... What? I know, right? I didn't think we'd have a chance to get you in. But a friend of mine, Kevin, told me they've extended the sign up. Honey, isn't it great? This competition is a great addition to your portfolio. How could you sign me up for Think of Your Feet? You've always wanted to do a live TV quiz. Ugh, well, I don't need it. I already have a lot on my plate. You should have asked me. I thought it would be all right, since the elections and the tests are over. You said everything was going great. Well, yeah, they are. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing is wrong. It will be a walkover, don't worry. This competition isn't nearly as tough as the Abuja one. Yeah, but that time was my prime. I didn't think... You'd be this upset. I know you don't need it. I just thought it would cheer you up. You're right, Mom. This will be easy. I was just surprised. That's the spirit. And it'll be so much fun. It's going to be torture. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, what have I done to myself? What have I done? <laughs> the student saw this in the cafeteria and brought it to me. What's flab? Are you kidding? Really? Not kidding. It's an acronym for body parts. Face, legs. What? You're kidding, right? You rate girls between 1 and 10 based on their categories. Do you really not know this? Are you just making fun of me? Even primary school kids know this. I'm not the perverted type that does such things. I'll leave you to it. What's that? Some book they found in the cafeteria. Mm. What's in it? My God, when last did I see this? You know this too. Who doesn't? Boys did it all the time. No way. <laughs> what is it? Oh, wow. This is so bad. This person, 
rate Evelyn's face nine, her leg seven, Hannah behind six, Hannah. God, I feel so bad talking about her like this. That's because it's, it's degrading, disgusting, disrespectful. And I'm going to kill whoever made that. Wait, wait. Don't you want to figure out who belongs to first? Or are you going to go from class to class announcing it? Think smart, G. Am I the head prefect or you? You're right. There's probably even more than one person involved. The handwritings are different. Yeah. Are you confident that this is what this flap means? Maybe it's something more positive, like... Um... Like what? They are great? Don't be naive. How do you not even know about this? Did I fail as a friend? Maybe. Maybe because you surrounded yourself with girls since you were born. Look, I didn't want to go all Indiana Jones on this, but you should probably just toss the book and forget about it. What good will it do to investigate? Nobody will own up to it. Just bury the book somewhere quietly and never speak of it again. You should be thankful it fell into your hands. What does this have to do with Indiana Jones? He was a treasure hunter, not a detective. Mm. What do we have here? Julius, give it back. If you have Expo, you should share with all of us, not just Robert. Give it back. Adam, are you selecting names for your daughters? Why are there so many girls' names here? Or? Are these names of girls you dated? Because I see Olive here. <gasps> Evelyn too. It's not mine. It's something prefects are currently investigating on. So for the last time, bring it back. <laughs> Adam, you're such a bad boy. <laughs> wow. Whoever wrote this must really love you, Esther. <laughs> Face, seven. Legs, five. <laughs> Butt, four. <laughs> Bazooka, nine. Ouch! 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 Asa, why are people so mean? On in this class? Yes, ma'am. He went out. So, what's going on here? Nothing, ma'am. Someone said we sent to love for me. Class, greet. Good morning, students. You may sit. Taboos. What are the topics on our bodies 
that we find embarrassing to talk about, especially when a member of the opposite gender is around. Come on, SS3A, let's break the ice. Back when I was in secondary school, the teacher would send the boys out of the class when she wanted to talk about the female bodies and vice versa. Many continue that segregated practice and it's resulted to teenagers who think that the natural happenings of their bodies are shameful. Not to dismiss the delicate, private nature of this topic, but when we only talk about it in secret and pretend like they don't exist, the result is young people out in the society without the protection of knowledge. It also widens the gap of understanding between genders leading to insensitive, hurtful comments and actions. Anyway, I know a good percentage of you here are hardly ignorant about what sex entails. <coughs> there is my proof. <laughs> we are all self-conscious about one thing or the other. Where are you going? To the clinic. Are you hurt? Why did you have to fight Julius? Look at your baby hands. Do you want them to take you to the disciplinary committee? How would you explain your bruises? What can I do? I mean, it's the first time I've punched someone and it's freaking me out. I wonder what Adam Kodo's here for. Hopefully he finally wants to talk about what's been bugging him. I have a bad feeling about it. Yes, are you okay? Yes. About the incident earlier with the book, Julius was just being a brainless jerk. As usual. But I will let some chump get to me. What did you want to talk to us about? Well, first, I want you guys to keep an open mind. If my mind were any more open, my brain would fall out. Original. Baba, what did you call us here for? I have things to do. Why are you being like this? Because this whole setup is sauce. It's nothing life-threatening, I assure you. Just calm down and listen, okay? Just talk a big. <sighs> I knew it! Ambush! Esther, she wants to apologize. Olive, let's go. It's a trap. I want to hear what she has to say. <laughs> okay, now. Nah. Since you've not had enough of our backhanded insults. Esther, please. I really am here to apologize. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Why that shall never end. Adam, please give us a moment. Sure. You guys have every right to hate me. After all, all I've done since I got here was talk down at you. I don't know who you're doing all this drama for. Adam is not here. All my life I've acted like I didn't need anyone. That way no one else could hurt me. But I checked myself and saw that I've been unfair to you. Never even gave you a chance. But I want to change that. That's the honest truth. I wish you would believe it. Why all of a sudden? I know, right? I should have been a till the end. But I'm doing this because of Adam. 
I don't want him to feel like he has to choose between either of us. If he had to choose, I'm sure he would choose us. You see, I'm just as confident that he'd choose me. It doesn't matter whom he chooses. It would be unfair of us to put him in that position without at least trying to be cordial with each other first. We don't have to be close. I just want to apologize for my hostility. I hope we can start over. Let me know what you decide. <clears throat> I know what you're going to say, so let me say this first before you say it. What? If you check our recent history, we haven't had much luck converting enemies into friends. What recent history? Hello? Grace, ring a bell. Mm. Grace chose a different path. So, the point is she left us. I say we stick to the classic three. Me, you and Adam. Anyone else is the third wheel. Mm. Technically, one of us is already the third wheel since we're three. Let's give her a chance. If she's pretending, we'll catch her anyway. But must we? I mean, really? Hey, I'm not doing this because I want to. Like Evelyn, I don't want to put Adam in a difficult spot. We consider Adam's feelings way too much, if you ask me. Because he's always considering ours. Let's just do this one for him. If it fails, at least it won't be for lack of trying. You make a point. Turn I always. But if I detect one whiff of hostility, I will kick her so hard you that she will. have to say it. Good. Now let's go get something to eat. I can't believe Adam stops lunch for this nonsense. I'm glad you decided to give Evie a chance. You won't regret it. You better not. Is this three competitions? Oh, yes. They spoke about this in the prefect's board meeting. It's like a way for students to make themselves more attractive to universities. You know, it helps to have a few competitions on your record. But you'd have to win, right? Yeah, obviously. You don't get points for participation. I see something for you. You really see me participating and winning? If it's an essay analyzing the impact of social media on the music industry, then yes. There's literally no one else that could win this. I need your mic for me. <laughs> oh, which ones will you do? I'm not sure. Yes. <clears throat> Settle down, class. We have a lot of ground to cover today. Let's um, start with an impromptu spelling exercise. What are we children? Excuse me, please, Cecile. Sorry to interrupt your class. We'll begin career counseling sessions next Monday. Each of you will be entitled to mandatory weekly sessions with me to discuss your future and your progress. Book your appointments on the school portal, OK? Yes, ma'am. Oh, failure to do so will cause a delay in your exam registration approval. That's how important it is. Thank you, Lucille. So, where were we? The spelling exercise. Right. Thank you. So before we get started and before I forget, you must have uh, seen the list of available competitions for the school year. The best performing students will not only be in my good graces for the rest of the year, but will be the highlight to university scouts who are on the lookout. One of the essay competition is the reputable Edison essay. And I would love to encourage you all to participate. But first, I will give you a practice essay so I can decide your strengths and weaknesses Based on your performance in my essay, you'll advise yourself on whether 
you want to contest nationally or not. So, shall we begin? Let's start with the word troubadour. All right, my mom. Take care. We'll get back to you guys. Okay. Sure. Not. Those were the last ones. Honestly, I try to keep an open mind, but I don't think I like any of them. It's either they are too slow or too old or too proud. That first guy was acting like he was too good to be here. Like, why come to audition for the band if you think you're better than everyone else? We only have room for one snob in the band. Exactly. So annoying. <sighs> Maybe we should try to perform as a duo. Like how? I give up. Let's call it quit and tell Angel we won't be able to perform. I've never known you to quit. I just need to think some more. Hello? Prince? Hi, guys. What are you doing here? You guys are still holding the auditions for the new basis, right? Yes. <sighs> Great. Thought I missed it. Missed what? The auditions. Are you slow? Didn't you bring your own? I can play all your songs and I learn really fast too. I think we'll make a great team. He's good. He's annoying, but yes, he's good. I don't think we have another choice at this point. Are you sure it's the only option? Unless you have another day for an audition. No, let's take him. Are you sure? You're hired. Yes! I don't know why I did it, but before I started preparing for the Coral Bank quiz, I worked on Miss Lucille's practice essay. Sitting here in the safety of my room, I felt capable of putting together a well-researched, well-written, well-thought-out essay. I wasn't sure I would compete in the main contest, but baby steps, right? I worried about my academic portfolio. I would have to win 8 out of 12 competitions to continue to impress Baron University. But I was already walking on thin ice. I wondered if Evelyn really meant what she said about being friends. Maybe I should have been less willing to accept her. Why do I even care about her opinion? It's most likely just a ploy to mess with us some more. What am I doing? I have a thousand word essay to write and a TV quiz to prep for. Let's do it. David and the Kings were so awesome. I can't believe they are classmates. I didn't know David was this well loved. Well, yeah, the band is quite talented as you can see. That's why Angel booked them. 
Too bad John couldn't play tonight. But Prince did a good job. We have so many talented people in our class. David is obviously the standout member. I wonder if he would be interested in a solo career. My family knows a few label executives that are looking for his kind of talent. <clears throat> But he said he didn't like anyone. Ah, right. He likes all of Of course. What if David tells Olive what he found out about me? What if he tells Adam? I'll just have to prove I'm not that girl anymore. Let's go. Olive! Esther! Wait up! Robert. If you have a shred of decency in your bones, you delete those photos. <laughs> All right. Since you want to play that way. Phones are not allowed in school. Bring them out. Adam. What is it? Thanks for helping out earlier. Not sure what I was helping you with, but you're welcome. What? <laughs> okay, this is terrible. Yeah. I should have dropped out and backed Olive instead. What do you mean? In the elections. She doesn't mind being unpopular. Okay. I never wanted to be the uncool senior seizing phones and yelling. <sighs> but I guess it comes with the job. <laughs> Is that really what's bothering you right now? What were you thinking when you ran for Air Prefect? So what would you do with the phones now? Don't know yet. I don't even know how the list was published again. I thought I had the only copy. Apparently not. Do you know who wrote this? Nope. Not yet, at least. <sighs> like I don't have enough to worry about. Robert was right. Some things are just out of our control. We just have to let them be and hope for the best. Adam! What is it? What are you guys doing out of assembly? Adam, we found who made that rubbish list. Oh, God. For the last time. It wasn't me! Adam, these girls are crazy. Shut up, Joe. Daddy Adifil, you attacked us for complimenting the boys. That's harassment, not compliments. Whatever. Just because we called him Mr. Pudgy Belly, he went to take revenge. 
Wait, how do you know it's him? Simple deduction. He was angry and all our names are on this list. Do the math. And he didn't even get it right. How can you rate me? 5332. That is just hate speech. I'm obviously at least 8, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> Ladies, thank you for your suspicions, but Romeo and I will take it from here. Thank you. Are you sure you can trust you? You guys are friends. We're also prefects. We'll make sure the truth comes out. Trust us. Now return to assembly. Okay, let's go. These girls have lost their mind. I didn't even bother trying to free myself. Did you write it? What? I didn't write it. I don't even know what you're talking about. Ew, no. I didn't write this. I know you didn't, at least, not alone. There's like four handwritings there. I had absolutely nothing to do with it. Romeo, tell him. The girls seem pretty convinced. I'm not so jobless to do something like this over something so small. If I followed how girls make fun of me, I would have blown up the whole school by now. I don't think it's him. He isn't really that type. How can we even trace it? Anyone from Jess wants to assess the could have written this. Could have even been a girl. Wait. I recognize this handwriting. This G. What about it? Looks like my dad's G. Are you sure? I've seen it a couple of times. It's quite unique. Okay. My dad and his band of bad eggs. They've been acting more suspicious than usual. My dad, let's talk. Hmm. What is it? His handwriting is just awful. It wasn't my dad that wrote it. Oh, it's him, all right. Look. Same handwriting, same G. It was the three of you, wasn't it? What I want to know is, why would you put it up? How did you even get it printed? I have the book. I thought you said you misplaced it. I had pictures. Why would you post it? I was just messing around. Romeo, it was just a harmless phone. It's just supposed to be public. Man, that's gonna be stupid sometimes. Yeah, Romeo. Make it a big deal. Just guys messing around. Harmless fun. Fun! Is it fun? Train punches won't change anything, but can we still beat them up to feel better? <laughs> Last few days have been so weird. Tell me about it. This whole flabble business was just sick. Sick. Are you guys still worried about that? This whole thing is so retarded. I mean, people obviously have physical preference in the opposite sex, but that's not an excuse to put others down. People do cruel things out of selfishness. They don't care how their actions make others feel. 
It was so mortifying when that good Julius read my rating in class. Even that day in the field when the girls kept telling Adam to take his shirt off. It's obviously made him feel uncomfortable. It really did. And I really didn't want to take my shirt off. I'm not the type. Why not? You have a great body. I just realized how creepy that sounded because I said it out loud. But it's true. Why did I not oblige to them? Because I didn't want to. That should be enough reason. I don't mind taking my shirt off no matter who is asking. We, we know. know. People can be so insensitive. Just gotta have thick skin. Wouldn't hurt also have compassion. I didn't even get to see what my rating was. I saw it. It was then. It was equal. What? It sounded like it was going well. Why do you care what those those jerks think of your looks? Since I'm losing my main asset, I have to see what I can do with my body. What? Calm down. Nothing crazy. Just starting to check out other career paths. Why? Don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? Maybe I should be a model. Romeo, if you make it bigger than an actor, beg what's up for me. When we were young, I'm nasty. Holly, who is teaching you all this internet slang? The internet. The <laughs> we just let the days pass by. People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job. We didn't care what we were told, cause when we were younger, we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't wanna grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free When we were 17 Yes, I left. Yeah, looks like everyone else did. Yeah. When we got older, we try to stay in touch. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start to be. No, it's you. I just. I know it's selfish, but stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. Can I get a hug? It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Just as friends. We are still friends, aren't we? Of course, we're friends. I just really need a hug right now. Sorry, but no. No hugs. I'm I'm not really interested in comforting you right now.
we were.